Hey guys, what is up? My name is Mark and welcome back to Friday Gear HK. And in this video, we are going to be talking about the Catefo Star 500 Ultra Compact UHF wireless microphone system. So without further ado, let's do this. Here we have three main objects or main gadgets. We have two transmitters and one receiver. Receiver goes on top of your camera or your smartphone and these transmitters go onto your subject. So you can use two transmitters for two different subjects. So here we get two lapel microphones or lavalier microphones. You can use it together with the transmitter. There is an input here. You just put the microphone like this and then push it and it locks in place just like that. And now you can get to use this transmitter with a wired lapel compared to just using the built-in microphone capsule. Here we get two cables. One is for your camera, which has the two lines over here. I don't know if you can see it, two lines over there and two lines over here. And this is for your smartphone. You'll know if it's for your smartphone if the other side has two lines like the other one and the other end has three lines which is for your smartphone. We get something different. We get a type A USB to three type C outs. You get three devices all connected to one cable and just plug it into your power bank or whatever a USB brick you have. So here we have two wind muffs and the design is very unique. I don't know if you can see it. So there's a pin here, right? So if you are planning to just use the microphone capsule that is built into the transmitter, you, you won't need the in jack, right? The microphone in jack. So this pin basically goes inside that thing to make sure that the, the furry windscreen or this dead cat is secured and it's really secure. The only way to remove it is to pull this out like you are pulling out your earphones or jack and it's pretty secure. You can rest assured that it's not going anywhere and it's gonna protect this microphone capsule. So you swing it this way and you get two lapel microphone clips. So if you have your lapel microphone over here, we can slide this out for a while. And then if you see that gap there, this little gap, this basically slides in, clips on like that, and you can slide back the wind, the wind muff on. And now this one, you can clip on to your talent. You just pinch, put it onto the clothing, and then release and then yeah. So right now the audio that you're hearing is coming from the Catefo Star 500 wireless microphone system but I'm not using the built-in microphone capsule. I'm basically using a lapel mic which is clipped onto my collar. So the first reason why you might consider purchasing this mic is that the sound quality is pretty good because sometimes the sound can be a little bit inconsistent on the low end and maybe the high end but this one is just right. The, the way that everything blends in is just so crispy. So yeah, with this microphone, I think you're gonna get a good sound out of it. So the second reason why you might consider this microphone is that this is a UHF mic and not a 2.4 gigahertz microphone. So what does UHF mean? So UHF stands for ultra high frequency, which is a lot more reliable than your standard 2.4 gigahertz signal. Remember those microphones that I reviewed before that are 2.4 gigahertz, that whenever I spun or turned away from the camera or the receiver, the, the signal just cuts off. This is no longer that case. This is a lot more stable and a lot more reliable but you do have to check with the places that you shoot at because sometimes they will not allow you to use UHF signals because they can be a little bit too strong. So just keep in mind that UHF signals are a lot more stable than 2.4 gigahertz. So even if I spin around my chair right now, I am very confident that the signal will never break. So yeah, this is a UHF and not a 2.4 gigahertz microphone system. So the third reason why you might consider this microphone system is that it has a micro SD slot. Wow, who would have expected that a microphone system of this price point would have this feature. The micro SD is mainly there to serve as a backup, just in case something happens, somehow the signal between the transmitter and the receiver gets interrupted. Sometimes you're just gonna get blank audio, but with this, as long as you hit record and there's a micro SD card inside of this, you can rest assured that you do have 
backup. You do have a redundant source of backup. So with this feature alone of having the micro SD card makes this kit a lot more worth it than it is. So the fourth reason why you might consider purchasing this microphone is that this is not just a UHF microphone system, but it is a small and compact UHF microphone system. Let me show you. So right now you can see that this is the transmitter, right? It's this size. Wait until you see what I had before with Boya. So this is the Boya UHF microphone system. You can see the size difference, right? Small, big, big, small. And remember, this can be charged just using type C. This needs batteries. So sometimes for me, I prefer a microphone system that can change batteries on the go. Like if you have double A's or triple A's, it just makes it more sustainable. But at the same time, there's no way for you to put triple A batteries into this system, right? So it's up to your use case, whichever will fit your needs. Both are great microphones, but then again, size difference is really compar not even comparable. It's really very easy to say that this is easily pocketable compared to this. If you had two of these, you get what I mean. This is a lot smaller. The last reason why you might consider this microphone system is that the dead cat is securely attached. Right now, I'm not using the microphone capsule on this which means I don't need the dead cat. But what if you're outdoors? Sometimes whenever you put the dead cat on the transmitter, it tends to fall off and you lose it forever and you, you, don't, you don't have a way to buy a new one. But this one, let me show you really quick. I'm gonna remove the lavalier microphone. I'm gonna be switching to the microphone capsule right now here. So right now the audio that you're hearing is straight from the transmitter itself. I'm just gonna try to keep it at, at a very steady distance. So the dead cat attaches where you put your microphone in. So watch this. It is securely there. There is no way that it will fall off. I've had so many instances with my old ceremonic mics, like in 2019, I think 2000, yeah, 2019, I completely lost the dead cat for the Blink 500, the first version. But now I think ceremonic already fixed it by putting a clip on a uh, dead cat. But now this one is a very different design. You just put it into the headphone jack, which is pretty interesting. So yeah, the dead cat is securely fastened onto the system unit. Okay, so for the next test, we are gonna be going outdoors and we are gonna put this microphone through its paces and see if it can keep up to shoot near a windy scenario or just outdoors where there are many signal interruptions around you like 2.4 gigahertz signals and Wi-Fi signals and we are gonna see if it gets interrupted. Okay, so now I'm using the Catefo Star 500 with just the transmitter on my lapel, no microphones attached and I'm just using the built-in microphone on this device. So this is what the audio sounds like. There's a little bit of a br breeze blowing back and forth here, so hopefully the audio doesn't get messed up. So we are at the lovely uh, Tim Chatsui Harbor area, and yeah, there's a lot of different 2.4 gigahertz interferences around me right now, but this is a UHF, so I can be very confident that the signal will not be interrupted. So for the next test, I'm gonna attach a lap lapel microphone onto this, and we are gonna see what the differences are. Okay, so I'm still using the Catefo Star 500, but this time, as you can see, I have a lapel microphone attached onto my collar, and the transmitter is over here. So if you are planning to use it professionally, I suggest that you do use a lapel microphone because the audio will be a lot crispier and a lot cleaner that way. But the problem is this has no dead cat right now, and there's a little bit, a little bit of a breeze going on around me, so hopefully, like what I said a while ago, that the audio is not gonna be interrupted or blown off by the strong gusts of wind around me. So again, this is a test with a Catefo Star 500, test mic one, two, three, test mic one, two, three. So yeah, this was an outdoor test with the Catefo Star 500, and now we're gonna go back into the studio and we're gonna wrap this video up and give you my final thoughts. So there you have it, guys. This was a test or a review video for the Catefo Star 500 dual transmitter single receiver wireless microphone system. So if you like this video, do give Catefo a shout out and I'm sure they can hook you up with a set of these. I'm not sure if they're available on Amazon yet, but I'm gonna leave the links down below when they do give me the purchase links for the Star 500 by Catefo. So thank you guys so much for watching this review video. And as always, thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time, peace.